Hi everybody at Addicts and Oryx. Uh, this is Justin from Water Underground. I'm here in one of the schools that uh, Addicts and Oryx has done a project in and completed an entire water project and has completely changed the entire fabric of the community. I just want to kind of do a, a little bit of a walkthrough now that we're almost done with the project just so you can see how everything is looking and, and how everything is placed. You can see here we are in the school. This is the community of Shikonzwene and we come here twice a week. We've been coming here for about three months and working with the Comité. The Comité is a committee that is formed within the community that's around. Uh, this community has, I believe, 28 members and we work with uh, every member of the community in parts of hygiene, sanitation, operations and maintenance, sustainability and agriculture. And we work with the children specifically as well. As you can see, we're going to walk into one of the training sessions with the children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you can see that we're working with the children that are also helping teach the other children and in some of the other classrooms the older kids are teaching the younger kids just having a little bit more ownership and of the material. Here we are going to walk into one of the training sessions that is for maintenance and operation. So that was training on how to repair and do all maintenance for the the well. We have the Comité do regular maintenance every two weeks, um, but they're trained in how to diagnose all problems, uh, potential problems, and, and fix everything on their own, knowing where to uh, get spare parts, how much they cost, how much they will uh, need to save in order to do those routine maintenance. And here is the central part of the whole project, the well.
Algo está bom? É a lor. We have here banana trees for the runoff. And now we will go into the garden, what they call the mashamba. So the, the community takes care of this garden. The profits from this garden will go to sustainability of the well and to make sure that there's soap in this uh, hand wash station and the sanitation center. And we'll go to really anything that they want in terms of development. Uh, the way that they are monitoring this, broad, this uh, garden is one parent and their child are responsible for each row and um, they call canteros here, which is essentially the, uh, the beds. So there's about 15, 20 families that are in charge of irrigating morning and night. We are growing things that they believe is impossible to grow at this time of year. For example, all they grow now is cassava. Never do they think it's possible to grow lettuce. Uh, they firmly believe, even when we started to, that to plant lettuce is just an impossibility. But let's just have a look with very simple technology, um, improved ways of, of irrigating and, and, uh, and doing very simple things. You can see that it's possible. Look at all of that lettuce. And we have here cabbage. Here we have hybrid tomatoes. Again, they feel that tomatoes are just impossible to grow. These are still at a young stage. However, they are looking very, very, very healthy. You can see how green they are. And you can see what the normal kind of sand, uh, soil is. It's essentially sand. So we need to use simple technologies such as using elements from the coconut um, and how to make your own compost. Uh, we show them all of those things, how to do it organically so that they can have improved yield and make things possible. Have, have you know, we need to show essentially all development is, is poverty reduction. So how can you grow things so that you are, so how do you grow things so that you are able to um, earn money, generate income, and also have money to, to feed uh, your family? So you can see that a lot here is made possible. The corn is looking great as well. Here is where they are making their own fertilizer. Again, they have never known how to do that before. Now, in this community, before, disculpe con licenza, um, it's very common, open defecation was a, a real, uh, a real problem here. Uh, it was very common practice. Only 14% of families had a latrine in their home. So with uh, the support of Addicts and Orcs, we have done a CLTS program, community-led total sanitation. At this point, uh, three months in, we have a 94% um, of the houses have a new latrine. Um, that's quite an accomplishment. I have no doubt that soon it will be open defecation free. Here is the sanitation center and you can see these kids here.
Now what we are seeing is something very special and I'm glad we saw it uh, as we just did. Hand washing is a completely foreign concept here in these communities. Um, yet uh, the, the simple act of hand washing can diminish or, or minimize diseases from uh, diarrheal diseases by 40%. Um, like I said, people, especially the children, were defecating in the open here, absolutely not washing their hands. So this is the sanitation center that we have built together uh, with Addicts and Oryx. We have uh, behind me here, we have a girls' sanitation block, boys, and then here we have teachers. So included in the girls, I'll show you here. We use a poor flush system. So there is water that is available in the bucket here to have a poor flush system. You can see things are being kept very clean. This is clearly the hand wash station. So we have two rooms for uh, defecation, one for urination and a menstrual hygiene room. Before this, an additional problem was that girls not only were missing school because they were going to fetch water, they weren't coming to school during times of menstruation because there was nowhere to clean, too much shame associated with that. When you break that down, that's a lot of school that's being missed, a quarter of, of, um, you know, of the month. So having this uh, menstrual hygiene area uh, allows girls to, to have privacy, to have an area where they can clean, talk to teachers, um, etc. So it's a very, very wonderful thing. Here we have the boys and then the teachers, the train. Uh, we have the men's, women's, um, and a urination area. So I hope that you have enjoyed this little tour of what you guys have made possible. Uh, we are very, very grateful to be partners with you. This is really great work and um, hands down, this project has changed this community forever. Uh, water is the single most important thing that a community needs, that this community has needed. But what's more important is that they are using the water as a catalyst for development on their own terms, uh, taking it where they want to and really realizing that they have um, the ability to, to go after what they want, uh, that they don't need to wait for anybody or anything. So the, 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 the value of that empowerment, I think, is, is truly spectacular. So I just want to say thank you, and we will keep you posted. Bye.